Hi there, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com. We're the creators of the Galleria theme. This video is designed to show you how to create the new gallery section that we've introduced as part of version 2.0 of Galleria. So we're really excited about this new section and as well as the lookbook page you can create. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how you can set up a striking grid of images just like this using theme settings. We're gonna go and take a look at in our theme settings here if you need to add a gallery section, first of all, you can just go to add section on your home page in your theme settings here and choose gallery under images. Since we already have one on here, we'll just play with that. So a few options we'll just run through real quick. You can choose an optional heading and description to appear above the images if you wish, as well as choose the background color. This enable stacked layout option allows you to remove all of the margins from between the images so they're all right next to each other and they also take up the full width of the screen. If you turn that off, we've got margins on top and margins in between the images. You can also choose that, the amount of margin you want between the images with this option here. You can choose to enlarge the images on click so they'll load in a light box modal pop-up window in a larger size if you click on them, if you have that enabled. Otherwise, you can specify separate links for each image. You can also put an overlay on top of each image if you wish. So the text becomes a little bit easier to read on your images. You can choose the overlay color. We've got some text options and some hover state options here. This one's grayscale out. So as we hover over these images, they turn grayscale. There's a few different options and options here to choose from. And then finally, we've got this improved mobile readability option that makes it so the images the text on top of the images is easier to read in a stacked layout on mobile. The text moves to the bottom of each image, becomes white, and there's a darkened overlay at the bottom so you can read the image text clearly. So once we get into the images themselves, we got some more options here. Obviously, you can add your image here, choose the heading and description text specified there. You can specify a link if you're not using the lightbox option. You can choose how wide you want your images. This is all based on a 12 column grid. So these images here are all four columns each. So it's basically one third, four times three equals 12. You want the images in each row to add up to 12 so they look uniform and you want them all to be the same height, ideally, but you can play with this any way you want. Um, as you can see, the second row of images it has a different layout. This first image is three columns wide. The second one is six columns, and this one's three columns. So you have a lot of different flexibility for how you want the images to appear. As long as you set them to equal 12, you're in great shape. So that's kind of what this gallery section is capable of doing. You've also got a, the ability to choose where you want your text positioned on each image. They can be top, bottom, or middle. And then you can also choose left, center, or right for the positioning. And you can choose the color individually for each image. So change the color for the text to match whatever your image is. So it's a really flexible section that we're really excited about. We think you'll find great use for this in your store. You can use it for just about anything from promotions to sales to collections to whatever you want. So it's really neat. Um, we also have a separate page template that we've introduced in this version of the theme called the lookbook. And it's set up exactly the same way. You first begin by going to the page that you want to make a lookbook in Shopify, and then choosing the page.lookbook template from this drop down over here. We've got a few options here, but choose look page.lookbook. And then when you navigate to that page in your theme settings, browser. So once you go to the lookbook page here, you will have this lookbook page options panel on the left. And there's a bunch of different options that match those that we just looked at. This is what the lookbook page looks like as a standalone. This is on a different demo, obviously. But you can see we're not using the stack layout here. We've got the margins in between the images. We've got text on them. We've also added the lightbox function to this lookbook. So you can see the images load in a larger window and you can scroll through them with these arrows. It's still got the text on there. So it's a really flexible design. We think you'll really like it. Hopefully this helps you set it up originally. 
If you have any questions, of course, feel free to reach out to us at support at milehighthemes.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.